This training video describes the method for antenna and aircraft surface preparation and antenna installation using the Avdec high-tech polyurethane conductive gasket series antenna gasket, HT3326-5 self-leveling green sealant, and high-tech tape polyurethane stretch seal. This method is to be used for antennas on any surface, but is most often used on aluminum aircraft. As with any installation, please consult the Aircraft Maintenance or Avionics Installation Manual as required. To now include TO-11691 and TO-11689 and other system technical orders. The key to any antenna gasket installation is surface preparation. Using isopropyl alcohol or any other approved cleaning solvent, be sure that the surface that comes in contact with the antenna gasket shall be free of any paint, dust, oil, grease, fingerprints, or any other contamination prior to antenna installation. Inspect the surface area for corrosion and take any corrective action based upon current maintenance manual requirements. Any primer or paint shall be removed to expose clean bare metal. Residue of previously applied adhesive sealants or other fillet sealing materials shall also be removed. An appropriate chemical conversion coating may also be applied to the aircraft's skin surface and allowed to dry per manufacturer's instructions. Prime and paint any exposed surface outside the footprint of the antenna per maintenance manuals, and additional corrosion protection can be gained by applying the primer and the paint 3 16 of an inch underneath the footprint of the antenna. The surface shall be wiped with a clean, solvent-damp cloth followed immediately by wiping with a clean, dry cloth. Abdec high-tech polyurethane gaskets are supplied with protective release film on both sides of the gasket. Leave the release film in place until ready to install the gasket. Remove the gasket from the protective packaging, taking care not to fold or bend the gasket. Verify that faster holes and connector cutouts in the gasket will align with the antenna when positioned for installation. Trim the perimeter of the gasket flush with the antenna if needed. Remove release film from the side of the gasket marked antenna side and position the gasket over the antenna. Beginning at one side or corner of the antenna, place gasket into position, carefully aligning the gasket fastener holes with the antenna fastener holes. Release film should remain on the exposed aircraft side of the gasket until immediately prior to antenna installation. At this point, the antenna may be installed on the aircraft and returned to service. A major source of antenna corrosion occurs from moisture leakage into the base of the antenna connector. ABDEC highly recommends the application of HT3326-5 self-leveling green sealant to the connector mounting area. HT3326-5 sealant will prevent moisture ingress through the connector base. Check the expiration date on the outer packaging to ensure that the material has not exceeded the six-month shelf life. Unlike other sealants, this material should never be refrigerated. The self-leveling green sealant is applied using the ABDEC UG981108-01 or equivalent sealant dispenser. Please note, the HT3326-5 self-leveling green sealant is packaged in a 50cc syringe which is enough material to seal up to 20 connectors. It has a short working life. It may be wise to prepare a number of antennas before mixing the sealant. Remove the materials from the double nitrogen sealed package. Every sealant package contains these instructions. There are two mixing straws supplied in each package. Due to the short working life of the material, a new mixing straw must be installed if the material in the straw begins to gel. To assemble the dispenser, raise the cartridge retainer at the top front of the sealant dispenser. Insert dual plunger into the dispenser. Ensure that the notch or ratchet surface of the plunger faces down towards the trigger. Raise the metal trigger release tab at the back of the dispenser and push the plunger toward the handle until it stops. Place the rectangular flange of the dual cartridge into the grooves on top of the dispenser and slide the cartridge into place. Then lower the cartridge retainer over the flange of the cartridge until it locks in place. Rotate the cartridge cap, quarter turn counterclockwise, and remove. 
Discard the cap and the rubber plug. Attach the mixing straw to the cartridge by inserting over the cartridge tip and rotating a quarter turn clockwise until locked. Hold the seal and dispenser upright and use the cartridge package as a waste container. Prime the mixing straw element by slowly dispensing the sealant into the waste container to remove air bubbles from the mixing straw. Typically, one and a half to two full trigger pulls of material for a 50cc cartridge. Dispense the sealant quickly, as sealants are designed to gel rapidly. Remember, a new mixing straw must be installed if the material in the straw begins to gel. Please note, discard the cartridge if removed from the original package for more than 24 hours. Discard any unused sealant by dispensing the sealant through the mixing straw or hand mixing prior to disposal. You are now ready to apply a layer of Abdeck self-leveling green sealant to the antenna mounting surface of the antenna connector. Be sure to cover the screws of the connectors completely to eliminate any future corrosion problems due to the similar metals. An additional source of corrosion occurs from moisture leakage into the antenna connector. Although the antenna can be mounted with only the sealed antenna gasket installed, Abdeck highly recommends the application of high-tech tape polyurethane stretch seal over the connector. Stretch seal will prevent moisture ingress into the connector. To apply the tape, remove the release film as you go. Wrap around the mated connector with a 50% overlap while stretching the tape 25-50% to to ensure a tight wrap. A tight wrap is necessary to ensure a proper seal. Coverage shall be from the base of the antenna to at least one half inch beyond the connector and onto the insulation jacket of the coaxial cable. Apply the cable or string ties immediately above and below the mated connector and the free end of the tape. Note that the aircraft cutout hole must be at least a quarter inch greater in diameter than the connector outer diameter when using the stretch seal tape. Remove the release film from the aircraft side of the gasket. You'll notice that the release film has a pre-cut slit in the material. This enables you to remove the film when you have the antenna fully prepared to install on the aircraft. Abdeck recommends pre-positioning at least two fasteners through the antenna and the gasket. Align the fasteners at the correct locations on the aircraft surface. Tighten each fastener one to two turns to hold the antenna in place on the aircraft. Install the remaining fasteners through the antenna and the gasket. Torque the fasteners in accordance with approved maintenance manual procedures. Billet sealing is not required or needed with ABDEC antenna gaskets, however. A fillet seal may be used along with the gasket if required by the approved technical order or service manual. To remove the antenna gasket, first remove the antenna fasteners. Use a phenolic or wooden tool as a wedge between the antenna and the aircraft surface to separate the antenna from the aircraft. After the antenna is removed, cut the ties from the connector wrap and remove the wrap. Disconnect the antenna cable and peel the antenna gasket from the aircraft. Remove any self-leveling green sealant from the antenna. Use isopropyl alcohol or any other approved cleaning solvent to remove any remaining residue. And remember, all removed ABDEC products are non-hazardous. This concludes the instructions for using Abdex high-tech polyurethane gaskets, self-leveling green sealants, and high-tech tape polyurethane stretch seal. By properly using these materials, you can reduce your labor hours and eliminate hazardous materials. You're protecting the vital components from corrosion and increasing your aircraft availability.